Okay, so we want to now just continue with some additional practice for our chapter that we did on factoring. So the next kind of unit that we came to was factoring by grouping. So when do we want to use factoring by grouping? We want to use that when we have four terms or a four term polynomial. Okay, that's when we're going to factor by grouping. So how do we do it? So in case you don't remember, basically you want to group the terms or collect the terms into two groups so that each group has a common factor. Then you're looking to factor within the group. So you're going to factor out the GCF from each group. Now I say factor out the GCF. Sometimes, as many of you know, you're going to have to factor out the opposite of the GCF. You're going to have to play with the signs to make it work. Right, so that in the next step, you can factor out what's called the common binomial factor. Now, sometimes the groups that you set up, they don't work out. So if you don't get a common binomial factor in the end, you have to go back and you have to try to regroup and start the process over. So let's jump in and look at a problem here. I know most of you know how to do this already. So we have 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. And I like to always start out by just looking at the first two here and the last two. Let's just say those are going to represent my two groups. So in the first group, 3x cubed plus 2x squared, I can pull out an x squared. And what I'd be left with would be a 3x plus a 2. And then if I look over here, if I have 6x plus 4, I can pull out a 2. All right, so if I pull out a 2, I'd have a 3x plus 2. So as you can see, this yields a common binomial factor of 3x plus 2. So now I can pull this guy out, and I'll have 3x plus 2, then times this x squared plus 2. Okay, And I always like to go back and check to make sure that I got the correct factoring. So the way I do that is obviously with FOIL, right? 3x times x squared would be 3x cubed, then 3x times 2 would be plus 6x, then 2 times x squared would be plus 2x squared, then 2 times 2 would be plus 4. So if I reorder these terms here, I'm going to get this back, right? 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Okay, let's take a look at 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 2. And so again, I'm going to go with the first two and consider that a group, and the last two, consider that a group. So what can I pull out of 2x cubed minus x squared? Well, I can pull out a x squared, and I'll be left with 2x minus 1. And then from this 4x minus 2, I can pull out a 2. So I'd be left with a 2x minus 1. And you can see, again, I have a common binomial factor here, and that's going to be 2x minus 1. So in the end, I'm going to pull that out, and I'm going to end up with 2x minus 1 times x squared plus 2. And again, if you want, you can check this by factoring. 2x times x squared would give me what? That would give me 2x cubed. Then 2x times 2 would give me plus 4x. Negative 1 times x squared would give me negative x squared. And then negative 1 times 2 would give me minus 2. So again, if you reorder these terms here, you're going to end up with 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 2 which is what we got right there. 